Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, all that rain the first day of the month of March really helped to give us a good surplus of rain here. It's now just four days into this new month. We're running surpluses for Mobile and Pensacola for this month and for the year. A little bit of a surplus for in Mobile now at about a two plus inch rainfall deficit for Pensacola, but we'll be adding to that surplus certainly starting tonight. And you can see clear system there sitting over Louisiana and now southern Mississippi bringing showers and thunderstorms, even some large hail storms across parts of eastern Louisiana and also into northern parts there near Monroe, uh, near Monroe, Louisiana had a couple of good hail swaths detected on the radar picture. Things have been quiet most of the day here. The only shower that we're seeing now is this one moving out of uh, Jackson County, Mississippi and now sitting over Grand Bay I 10 actually getting a few sprinkles over West Mobile now as viewed from several of our cameras, which we'll show you in a second. But bottom line next 12 hours, your rain chance is going to slowly stair step up here around 30% by 7 p.m. Once we start moving past 9 p.m., that's when I think most of the rain will start moving in and uh, most of this will fall while we are sleeping tonight, but there could be a couple of rumbles of thunder out there that could maybe wake you up in the middle of the night. USA Health Providence Hospital and the all in credit union camera, a little bit of light rain or drizzle coming down here in West Mobile, so we'll continue to watch for that over the next couple of hours. Battleship Park in the air, specialty cam, also seeing the overcast skies overhead and overcast, but pretty sky here from Destin at the Henderson Beach Resort there on the Emerald Coast. As we look ahead, 9 p.m. again, rain chance around 50%. And then even tomorrow morning when you're out the door, there will be some showers and a few thunderstorms in the area around 63. Most of the rain tomorrow will come first half of the day. The back half of the day rain's going to be a bit more hit and miss temperature of 68 by 4 p.m. Right now with that southeast wind able to kick your temperatures up this afternoon, 70 in Mobile sitting at 77 now in Jackson, Alabama, 68 Fort Walton Beach, Pensacola and Gulf Shores. Also Loxley all matching each other at 66 and there's that southeast wind a little bit stronger here over Mobile and Baldwin counties 15 miles per hour sustained at Gulf Shores and around 13 in Mobile. Another run you uh, will run you through that predictor again showing this current batch of rain. I actually think a, most of the rain will at least the heaviest rain will probably sit along I 10 and out over the waters. You know, again, by uh, 7 a.m. Tuesday, we may get a little bit of a lull initially here, but then that second batch of rain comes on through. But most of our models show that this is going to weaken quickly as it gets kind of undercut by some drier air, and that is why we may see a few glimpses of sunshine tomorrow afternoon and the rain again becomes a bit spottier in nature. Low pressure moves out. We'll still be left with a northwesterly flow. We won't draw, we won't cool down behind this system, but we will see a bit more sunshine here through the middle of the week. How much rain will fall over the next day? Well, not all that much. Most areas will pick up about a quarter to a half an inch of rain north of I-10. Higher amounts, generally speaking, along I-10 and closer to the coast, maybe an inch to an inch and a half of rain possible. So Super Tuesday, 71 degrees, approaching 80 again by Wednesday and Thursday. We're closely monitoring Friday. We could see a round of maybe stronger thunderstorms as we move into the weekend and we'll cool down as we spring forward this weekend. Brought to you by 